Obi's poor financial intervention in Ojuku's health led to his untimely death, Samuel, Simon Ekpa alleges. Simon Ekpa, a Finland-based self-acclaimed disciple of Namdekano, leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, has alleged that the refusal of Peter B to commit enough financial resources to address the health challenges of Emeka Ojuku led to the death of the ex-Biafran leader. Platinum Post reports that there has been torrent of reactions on alleged Peter B stinginess, which was prompted by utterances by firebrand Catholic priest, Reverend Father Ejik Ondaka. Ejike's comment on Obi, the presidential candidate of the Labour Party, had on Thursday elicited reaction of Ojuku's wife, Bianca, who described the former Anambra governor as a prudent manager of resources. But in a string of tweets on Friday, Ekpa warned Bianca to stay clear on the issue of Peter B's stinginess. He said, I am surprised to see Bianca Ojuku interfering in Mbaka versus Peter B. Mbaka comment on Peter B may be also connected to how OB treated Ojuku while in Inugu hospital. Peter OB is like a discicle. Okay, Peter OB is like a dis like a discicle to interve intervene financially led to his untimely death. Bianca, is this true or false? Bianca, it is not every discussion you interfere. Sometimes you should remain silent and allow the gods to fight for those whose hands are clean. Peter B supported your foundation but refused to help your ailing husband who made him governor. Is that a justification for defense? You better not comment if you have if you don't have knowledge on the issue. I think this is just again with politics, with the with the stories at hand, so many people are going to give their opinions. I mean, why why aren't you why are you not on Twitter? Would you tell a random person on Twitter the same thing or because it's Bianca Juku? I think it is very disrespectful and very dismiss dismissive for you to tell her not to give her two cents. Again, she was very smart about it. She did not say she did not say anything in relation to Padambaka, so you can't really hold her to that. She was just giving her experience, literally in her defense she literally just came out to to um to justify or prove his character as somebody who cares for the people and has the people's intentions at heart so you cannot you cannot basically be disrespectful and tell her you you have no right to speak on this issue i mean again it is her husband we're talking about anyway so if you're talking about the untimely death of um of Ojuku, then her being the wife, would she not have any authority to speak on such matters? So that in itself is very disrespectful. Um, again, Bianca's response was just very impactful, timely, well written, hit the nail on the head without addressing. It's like I I think it's it's a, it was a very smart move of hers. Um, so again, you then bringing this aspect of her husband's death and Peter B not being financially generous to help. I mean, it's, it's, you've now taken this conversation to a whole new level, which one can fairly say, in my opinion, you've just twisted the whole story and you've added a new light to it, in which if you did not add this point of, of, of this story, then really and truly it would not matter. But then you've now chosen to interfere as well and add a new side, a new a new aspect to this story. So who should really not speak in this situation if you judge for yourself? Um, because now we'll start. Then you're gonna change the conversation to um Ojuku's to Ojuku's death, and it's not like is that the essence of the conversation? But then it is not. It's not surprising. Again, this is the drama filled um atmosphere that Nigeria finds itself in before elections. So that's basically it i mean i don't think there's anything else to say as regards that um i mean reading what bianca wrote on on um on peter b was i mean it really it really really intensified why people would like him in the first place and i think it, it may be upsetting to those who do not support peter b because really that even made his credibility and his viability and his uh I guess chances stronger. 
somebody says drama continues obi could not manage apga the party that brought him into office left for pdp and now labor party instead of being around in the kitchen to support labor party candidates in the gubernatorial election obi is in egypt attending a business meeting in egypt priority misplacement first of all this whole comment is misplaced why because you you understand the politics and you understand the political game right and you know very well that your politicians jump from party to party to party. It does not really matter the party that is represented. However, it matters the strategy that they use to get to where they want. So if the party can be the platform that gives them that, of course, they would they would defect. This defection thing you're talking about in Peter Obi's case is not valid. It doesn't hold any weight. Um, you can't then tell him what to do if he should that he should be in a kitty supporting whoever. I mean, that that's literally secondly out of the conversation it's not relevant to what we're talking about and um will be in egypt attending a business meeting in egypt if you do not know he's actually on there and what he's doing is which is why he's such a good candidate he he apparently is looking at how electricity is generated in the country and learning from that aspect and i think that is one thing if you have not heard peter Obi speak what he does when he speaks is that he compares to every single country Every single country that is, okay, first world countries that you can say where Nigeria aims to be. And also countries where he has seen them come from the grassroots to where they are. So it is very much good comparisons here. And what he does is that he's not just exposed for expo exposure sake. He is using his exposure from other countries and implementing it in Nigeria. That's what he plans to do. He calls himself a creator, a builder. He wants to build. And secondly, or thirdly, or whatever point I'm on, he has said he's not desperate to be president, he's desperate to see a Nigeria that works. So him going to Egypt is him trying to look for options and look for solutions and learn from other countries that are better than us in the elect in 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 um generating power. If that comes in that in, in that aspect, um. So yeah, this it's literally from point one, point two, point three of all the points you have mentioned. It is literally it can be it can be defended against, um. Someone says, Ojuku does not need Peter Obi's money to stay alive. Ojuku was a very rich man. Very good point. And someone also said it here, was Ojuku a poor man? Now, that is the question because that's why you have to be careful with the way you put things. And I guess, obviously, he, the way Samanekwa put it was very much on purpose to drive a whole conversation. But he makes it look as though Ojuku's, Ojuku's death was caused by the fact that Peter Obi did not give it any money, which is, which, if anything... It is justified for Bianca Ojuku to be very, very annoyed and give it to him like hot. Like literally tell him you need to be respectful for the way you're going to speak about my husband. Because now you've added a whole conversation that would put her husband in in the light. And it just, these are all distractions. I think we must also remember that stories will always keep coming. And we must remember that we cannot fall for distractions on the side. And to be honest, it is highly unlikely that Peter B would ever even react to Bianca or even react to someone like or react to Father Mbaka, or react, react to anything, because it is literally so irrelevant to where he's going. So yeah, it is expected this will happen. Put what you think in the comment section below, and do not forget to like and subscribe.